I've tried match day hospitality at many different clubs all around the UK, from Man City in England, to Hampden Park and Celtic Park in Glasgow, to Hibs in Edinburgh. And I'm back in the capital of Scotland today to try match day hospitality at Tyne Castle, the home of Heart of Midlothian. I'll be revealing a little bit later in this video exactly how much the ticket cost for today. Um, it's obviously a little bit more expensive than the usual standard match day ticket, so I wonder what we'll get. Should be a really interesting game today. Obviously, Celtic, the champions, come here to Tyne Castle. Hearts are currently fourth in the league, Celtic are top, and sort of well clear of Rangers, four clear right now. Um, but if they win today, it'll go back to seven points clear. But Celtic have won their last 10 games against Hearts. Their last loss was here at Tyne Castle, um, and I think it was Ange Postacoglu's was it his first game? It was certainly one of his first games anyway. Yeah, should be an interesting game. Match day hospitality. We're back at Hearts in one of my favourite cities to film in Edinburgh and we're seeing the champions Celtic. Yeah. Craig, big jambo, yeah. as I can see. <laughs> I think you've lost your last 10 against Celtic. What do Hearts have to do today to get three points? Uh, we need to start early, um, go strong. Um, Celtic are a weaker team than they've been in the past few years. So hopefully, um, as long as we can get on the front foot, we should be all right. And the Hearts fans happy with how things are going at the moment? You're fourth in the league currently. I think um, it's 50-50. There's some okay. people that agree we could be doing better, but I yep. think it's a, a long-term plan. So okay. if we back it, we should be all right. It was a bit of a shame that you couldn't get through to the European group stages, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. But is the plan for Hearts just always to come top three, four, five, just to I get into those European spots? Realistically, yeah. Um, if you listen to the board and stuff, they want to challenge for a second, okay. get into Champions League. Um, I just don't think with the money in Scottish football it's going to be an option. Yeah, it's a long way away I yeah, suppose. Yeah, yeah. And are you confident today? What do you think the score will be? Uh, I think it'll be 2-1 um, to Hearts. Happy with how things are going this season? No, nah, not really. Not really? You're fourth nope. at the moment. What do you think you could do better? Um, Everyone better. Really? Okay. Yeah. What players have impressed you the most? Uh, not really much. Still, how are Hearts doing? And what's the score going to be today? Uh, two no hearts. Tommy. Tommy. Tommy and Steve. your grandson is well, Ethan. Ethan, on. shout out to him. Right, Thank you so much to him for watching the videos. You're a Celtic supporter. Aye. We'll say it quietly around here. Are you happy with how things are going under Rogers? Very much, yeah. Yeah? yeah good guy. Yeah, and, absolutely. And are you confident of getting a result today? Always. Under Brendan, always confident about getting a result. What do you think the score will be? Uh, I don't care, as long as we get one goal more than they do. The food is free as well. I don't think we've had that in hospitality before. That is unreal. And look, women's football as well on the telly. Old Firm Derby at Airdrie. Who is your favourite Hearts player? Cochran, is that? Yeah, okay. You look a bit like Alex Cochran, actually. Is it a I'm a good few times, Yeah, okay. And what do you think the score will be today? 1 0 Hearts. Are you confident you can get anything from today? I think get a draw. You think a draw? What do you reckon? I think we get pumped. You think you get pumped? You're a little bit more confident. And what do you make of the hospitality bit in here? Do you, do you like coming in here? Uh, the old bit was a bit better. It was tables and chairs like that. Okay. But I don't really like that. You get all your food included and stuff. Uh, do they usually change up the food or is it the yeah, same stuff? Yeah, they usually change up the food, but I'm not a fan of the food. Not a fan of the food here? What about you? Do you reckon it's all right? or? It's okay, it's not too bad. And what do you think the score will be today? You think you get pumped, but what do you reckon the score will be? 3-0 Celtic. 3-0 Celtic, and you? 2-0. 2-2. Yes, the hospitality lounge behind me there. Absolutely class, actually. Really, really enjoyable. And probably one of the best ones I've been in, and especially like with what you get. The alcohol you have to pay for, I'm driving, so I've not had a beer. Um, but yeah, coffee, tea, maybe soft drinks, I'm not sure, um, but food, food in there is unbelievable. I had a chicken burger, a Cajun chicken burger, and there's like other food in there that looks just unreal, and everyone's enjoying themselves, really cool little atmosphere in there, just been chatting to a load of jambos, um, but I'm going to find my seat now, so let's have a look at where we're sitting. I wonder if it's a padded seat. Amazing seats, look. Good score for Celtic after three minutes. Good 
Hasn't taken long. Kyogo's just missed a penalty. I've just been to the toilet. I've missed the start of the, of the half. But look, in the hospitality. It's good, the hospitality. Absolutely unreal. One of the best I've done. I can hear a roar. I need to get back out there. Anyway, it's 2-0 to Celtic still. Uh, Kyogo hit the post with a penalty, but it's not like me to miss action in the game, is it? Oh, Kyogo! Fifteen minutes. minutes into the game, and look, mass exodus from the home fans. Goal number six of the season last year for Lauren Shankland. Really good finish for Shankland. Goal scorer for Celtic number 24 to Moki Awata. Second time on the channel? Second time on the channel. And Jambo, obviously. Yeah, Jambo. What were you just telling me about you think you need a new manager here? We do, uh, yeah, um, personally, I really do think we need a new manager. But do you not think that at teams like Hearts, Hibs and Aberdeen, the three bigger clubs sort of behind Celtic and Rangers, it's always so hard to close the gap and the expectations are quite high from the fans, so I almost feel it's a poison chalice for no, a manager. No, I, I, I get that, I get that. But I don't look at the old firm, I only look at across the city of what they're doing. And obviously um, the last game was I, I admit they got beat yesterday. But They've for Hibs in the derby as well for you, you yeah, threw that away. The, the, the derby, we did throw it away because as soon as they scored their first one, it was like, oh no, we just sit back and let them come at us. Who would you bring in then? A manager. Kevin Muscat. Oh, that's a big name, okay. Kevin and Muscat. where do you think Hearts will finish this season in the league? I hope above Hibs and I hope in the top, top six, I really do. That is genuinely one of the best match day hospitalities I think I've ever had. I'm gonna tell you how much it costs in a second, but let's just think about what we got. A little wristband on the way in, um, so you can keep going in and out of the uh, of the Strongbow Lounge. The Strongbow Lounge is nice. You get access three hours before kickoff um, into the Strongbow Lounge. And like I told you in there, free food, Obviously you've got to pay for the ticket, so is it really free, but you get unlimited food when you're in there. Um, food before the game, food at half time as well, pie, cakes. I could still be in there now up until an hour after kickoff, I think. Um, but paid bar, but free teas, free coffees, maybe free soft drinks as well. I can't, I'm not sure, I didn't have one. Um, but if you want beers and that, I think that is extra. Match day programs, just uh, private toilets um, within the lounge, and just a bit more of a different experience maybe like a nicer experience in that little lounge and you'd get just elsewhere in the stadium um one positive actually i needed to charge my phone when i got here and there's little plugs in there so i just used the charger i know it's a small thing but it's just something extra that you get um that you wouldn't get anywhere else in like the normal parts of the stadium so how much did it cost and the seats as well actually the seats um right near the front of that stand you get a great view of the pitch um but i think all the seats in that whole stand are padded actually now i think about it um but yeah Tyne Castle, always a really cool stadium to come to. How much did it cost? It was 
£91. And considering I paid £95 for a similar experience at Celtic last season, funnily enough, they played hearts in that game, um, and you still had to pay for your food and stuff. I went and got food and didn't quite realise, I don't think, until I actually got it served that you had to pay for it as well. So I was like another eight or nine quid when I was in there. Whereas at hearts, you get your free food and that as well. So actually one of the better experiences I've had. I've done more of a high-end one at Hibs. Um, I got invited to that. I didn't buy a ticket that day. I was invited by one of Hibs' sponsors to go that day. Um, and it was still a good experience, but I think the ticket for that one would probably be more. It's like a sit-down meal and all your drinks were included, even like alcoholic drinks and stuff. Um, but for this one, yep, really good. 91 quid, a little bit expensive, but um, overall a really good experience. And hopefully enough people watch this that the video sort of pays for the ticket anyway. Um, so yeah, if you're new around here, please do subscribe. It really, really does help me out. I don't just cover the big games in Scotland. I do lower league stuff. I do women's games. I do games all around Europe as well. Not just Europe. I've made videos in Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Mexico, Australia. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave on screen my Mexico video that I went to recently. And I'm going to leave a Singapore video as well that I've done within the last like three or four months or so. So yeah, a couple of my like bigger trips on screen right now. If you want to see what it's like to watch football in Singapore or Mexico, then please click on one of these videos. It really does help me out. Thank you so much and goodbye.